Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my review of this uh, pet vacuum. And I'm gonna do an unboxing right away. I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna do any introduction and all that stuff. Just cut right into it. Got this on Amazon. If you want to, I'll put a link in the description. Looks like it comes with uh, some instructions. Okay, so kick ass, right? You know, it's supposed to it's supposed to pick up ninety nine percent of the pet hair. Okay, on your dog or animal or cat or, or whatever you got. Let's just open this box right away. It looks like it's got a little bag for you to put everything in. Okay, all right, we got a. Got a brush. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's the attachment. That's one. There's a lot of moving parts in this thing. Here's the one I was excited about. This one. Okay. Another one. What's this? Oh, these are clippers. I'm not sure if it has any guards on it. It's got one, I believe. See that? Got a little button on there. Push up and down on it. Okay, kind of cool. I'll find out if it's got any guards, because that can't be the only one, I think. Well, let's see. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. He's got some guards. He even has another had some more attachments to it, so yeah, it does have guards. An assortment of guards. All right, so oh, we just got like a straight. Um, You can see, you can see straight through it. So I guess it's just to either get what's left on the dog or maybe what's left on your floor. But it's supposed to pick up 99% of the pet, pet hair. Okay, that's all the attachments. Now we come out to the machine itself. Here it is. Sure, if the hose detaches. Hmm. Let's see if it does or not. Turn it. Okay, so here's the uh, the other part of the hose. God, man, that was stupid. Okay. And this thing's all white. The power buttons. Everything there. And let's see how to open this baby up. Let's try some. No. Oh. Make sure I can put that back together the right way. Okay, it just pops right off like that. See, I'm go ahead and put it in. It's got some little grooves right there on the top. God damn it, let me see, hold on. Let me see if I can go to a different color on here. Maybe that would help. Not really, but. 
Anyway, it just pops right off. Now, it doesn't look like the hose detaches at all. You know, this it's got a filter on it. It winds up from the bottom. Regular cord. So, all right, that was the unboxing. So when I come back, I'll have my dog ready and uh, we'll see how well this thing works. Okay, I'm also gonna go over all the attachments. So I gotta wear my glasses because I can see too up, up close. So first of all, we're gonna have the um, this is the groom brush, okay? And we have the, the shedding tool. That's the one I used on my dog earlier. We're gonna have the electric clippers. That's these guys right there. We're gonna have the cleaning brush. That's this one here. It's the shedding on it. So I used it. And we're gonna have the um, the nozzle. Okay. I should have did this in the first place and showing you all this. Inside there's gonna be inside the device itself, there's a HEPA, there's a sponge filter, um, there's a wind cover, and all the guards. Okay. There's a bunch of guards here. Yeah. Like this is the wind protector. And I got about one, I got about five guards, okay? Let's see. Now, like I said before, the only thing I didn't like about this was that the hose didn't detach. So that's the only thing I, I didn't like about this product here. Um, other than that, I think this thing is pretty cool. So, if, um, yeah, just read the meat, read the owner's manual, okay? So, that's the net bot pet grooming kit and vacuum, okay? Really, really good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome back. This is my, <laughs> this is my dog Zod, which is, he's pretty big. He's a little scared, but uh, we're going to get through this. So. And now we got this one, and I'm going to brush him. I just comb him along. You see there's some right there, and I'm just going to push this. You going to suck it right in. He's getting all his undercoat. Wow, this thing, work this thing works really, really well. Closer. You see it look. Wow, it's getting all this undercoat. And just so brush down, go in, brush down, go in. <laughs> okay. Now my dog's heart is beating really bad.
Now that just a little bit took up about that much of pet hair off of him. <laughs> he got the collar off. Let's see. That's how much it got off. That came off of him just with a couple of strokes. Well, more than a couple of strokes, about a couple of dozen strokes. Zod, get over here. <laughs> he is not liking this at all. All right, boy. There's still one more attachment I'm going to try. And that's the brush. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right. Hmm? Okay. Okay, buddy. I'm doing this for your own good. You got a lot of fur, man. You got a lot of fur. Not really liking this one. Let me try out this other brush that was on here. Let's see how well it does. All right. It's, just, it's a very soft. It's a very soft bristle comb. But like a brush. Now I'm going against the grain here. See how much it pulls out. Now, I am noticing a lot of hair. So far, the best one, the best tool is this one. So this one. Yeah. Get out. We're not done yet. Come here. Oh my God. I'll get to him later. Now, of all the attachments, that, this one, not so much. It still left a lot of hair. Uh, it vacuums good on this one. Uh, he, he's not too long hair, so I didn't have to use the clippers on him. But so far, my favorite attachment was this one. And he did get a lot more hair under coat off of him. But overall, I, I like the product. I mean, I, re I really, really do. This is really nice. This one right here is really good. It just brushes them right down. And Now, the problem is this thing is very small. As you can see, uh, it's very small. So I can get you know, uh, brush a couple of strokes that way you can see it getting sucked right in. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I did a couple of strokes. Like I promise, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this thing works right here. Just ready? And there it goes. And this, it sucks it right in.
Dan yet. Now the problem is that this is going to take forever to do it. Do that dog completely. Okay, buddy. Okay, so this right here is a Belgian Malwa. His name is General Zod. Say hi, dude. This is General Zod, my best friend. I love him to death. Mwah. Love my dog. <sighs> but we're not done. <laughs> All righty. Hopefully you found this video helpful and useful. Uh, if you did, uh, look in the description down below. I'll leave a link to Amazon for this um, to get this product. Do I like it? Yeah, I like I like it a hundred percent. My the device I like the most, not this one so much. Maybe this is meant for a different dog. I didn't really like it too much. Not on the short hair one like this. Maybe on, the, on a different one it would be better. A different dog. But I did really like this one. Right? Right? Did you like it? You're not dead. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good one. And uh, stay safe. And uh, we're starting off a new year with a bang. Oh, poor guy. Okay, continuation. Um, it took me about an hour to brush them out. And this thing feels pretty warm. If you can't really tell, there are two settings on there. Uh, this is the max, and that's the power. Once you hit it, once you hit the, the power, ah, once you hit the power, then you hit the max, and that really turns it up. But here is you can see there's even another filter inside okay. even though this canister damn that is all from my look at that this thing Big A plus. Now your dog will have to get used to it because if you know dogs do not like vacuums. So my dog did have to get used to this a little bit. Okay, but you keep brushing them every other day, maybe, or not every other day, maybe um, once a week, maybe, or maybe twice, once every two weeks, however you want to do it. My dog's a very short-haired dog. He's not a long-haired Malinois, but he's a short-haired Malinois. But man, boy, that, that took out a lot. I mean, Jeez, I can make a toupee out of that. No. Not that I need one. <laughs> ah. um, now, I have heard that you can leave this somewhere out, like in the woods or something like that, and that birds will make this into nesting for their, for their young, that they'll use this stuff. So if you want to throw it out in some field or something like that, maybe some birds will pick it up and you'll help them out. How about a bird, huh? Okay, well, that's just my continuation. Uh, my favorite part of it was this one. That was my favorite one because it really, really got this undercoat in there. Uh, now, where I got this idea from was another YouTuber called Malinois, um, Maligator Mom. Maligator Mom, yeah. So. If you want to, I'll leave a uh, link to her channel also down in the description. And uh, I saw it on hers, and she has a website. I didn't order from her, unfortunately. I saw it on Amazon, and I picked it up because it was on um, uh, like a really good clearance price. I paid about, I think I paid $130 for this thing. To me, it's worth every penny. Some people want to be on a budget. But to me, this is worth. Now you can you can see I still got some my dog's fur all over me, so it picks up ninety five percent. I mean, this is not so bad. I mean, if you really can see, like it goes on me. This isn't so bad. This is just when he was leaning on me. This thing does pick up a lot. It picks up a lot, lot. So yeah, go for it. Get you one of these. You know these. The only thing I okay, now the only thing I didn't like about this was that the hose couldn't come off. But you know, just in case the hose messes up, maybe I'm missing something. 
And if I'm missing something, I find out something about it later on, or uh, I'll go ahead and let you know. But as far as I can tell, the hose didn't detach, which, you know, if it's kind of like a bummer. Oh, there's a lot of instructions in here, so please read the instructions. I didn't. I just jumped straight in. I unboxed it. I jumped straight in, and I uh, just want to see, you know, because my dog needed this really bad. He is shedding everywhere. I mean, good God. He, if you have a Roomba, you know what I'm talking about, and a dog. All right. Thank you all very much for uh, checking out this channel and this uh Review, uh, if you like it, like I said before, you know, tell me in the comments. Y'all have a good one, and uh, I'll keep them coming. Bye-bye.